let's say we are trying to build like an online brand on YouTube. We're trying to gain like a good audience. There's a concept these days which is going really, really viral from Gary V, which is called jab, 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 right hook. The idea is we jab with free value, with with valuable, you know, content, advice, entertainment, you know, whatever the thing you're posting. So imagine, okay, I posted like hundreds of videos where I didn't even sell anything. I just posted a bunch of bunch of videos which people thought were helpful. Then you after you've gave a bunch of free value for a very long time to the point that your audience think like, how is this free? Whoa, this guy saved my life. This is crazy. Then after a long time, then you do the right hook. The right hook is when you're kind of like asking for money. You're, you've got something to sell. And what it said is that the longer you wait to right hook, the longer you wait to have something to sell, the more money you'll make. And generally that is true. So this is a question that I get asked quite frequently. And I always ask the same question. First of all, do you need to make the money right now? No. Yeah. So you don't need to make money right now. So the simple answer is, yeah, definitely keep jabbing right now. Certainly. Mm -hmm. How do you know when it's the right time? I'd say there's a few, few things you can look out for. One, you need the money either now or soon. You can start to think like, oh yeah, like actually like would need the money a month from now because my my supplements um, sponsorship isn't working anymore. You know, something like this. Or maybe, oh, my parents have got this bill coming up. You know, you start to realize, oh shit, maybe I would need the money. That's number one. That's like the worst level to be on. So if you're not there, that's awesome. Then I think the best time to start preparing to right hook is actually when you have the the desire to think, you know what, like, Money is something that's important that I want to level up to my life. And generally, for someone in your situation, you won't really make that high of a of a product, like that great of a product, unless if you're going to be motivated by the money. So, for example, if, if you want to just, let's say you want to make everything for free and you're going to make this now, this fitness program for free, just because, you know, it's another left hook, that's left jab, that's good. But if you suddenly knew that the next little venture you were going to go on, whether it's this program or this course or this app or, you know, whatever product you can maybe think of, that you were going to make a good amount of money from that, then you would make that product even better. So what I would say is for you, for most people, is most people should focus entirely on just the audience for a very long time. And you should give them so much sickening value that you should every video you make you should be thinking like fuck do i actually want to teach like all of my secrets like you should like though when you get the thought in that video thinking wait like you literally think to yourself you know what if 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 guys get as jacked as me like my physique won't get me as many likes on instagram or sometimes i think like wait if i teach all of these dating techniques like like guys will be texting my future wife this shit i I don't want i don't want many guys to know this shit i've I've made a video about money and I, i sat there before and i was like I'm going to make my own competition by making this video. Is that really a good thing? And and that's, I found is the good one, right? So that's like, okay, you're giving a really good amount of value right now. Do that as much as possible. Be known as the guy who's giving for free what other people charge for. Get to a really good level of, of an audience who really, really like you, who have built up this, this like for you. But always clarify during all this time that you kind of like things like business and making money because you certainly don't want to play the game where you pretend like money's not important because the issue with that is then people subscribe to you, but they're all like those people who think that if you did ever sell that you'd be a bad person. So you want there to be, you know, like you still want to show like the, the real side to you, which is like, yeah, like at some point I'm probably going to make a product in the future, guys. I don't know what it is just yet, but you, you know, you kind of be honest. You don't want to start and put yourself in a hole of like, yeah, see, I've got nothing to sell you guys. And then, a year from now you're thinking like fuck i actually kind of hope i did have something to sell them focus entirely on building the audience and when it seems right to you there's going to be like an idea that you'll really want to implement for another like the money making part of the business maybe it's a community like ours maybe it's coaching maybe it's courses maybe it's a product or whatever your own um supplements or something it's got there's going to be a problem where you really would think wait it would be awesome if i could do that thing And then you're probably going to need like the profit to run that kind of business. And that's when you should start to consider the right hook.